Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more CK3 Blood Eagle, playing as Sigurd Snake in the Eye, the Bane of Ireland. Conquered a fair bit of territory over here. I would be tempted to go and attack Lothian since Lothian's really weak right now. Except for the fact that they are allied to, uh, you know, Jorvik over here, which is pretty awful. This guy's, this guy's really freaking tough. He's got a lot of allies and a lot of troops, which is gonna make my life really awful. We're gonna have to find a way to attack someone we can beat him down the old-fashioned way. But in the meantime, we could continue fighting over Ireland. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. Or maybe we want to go ahead and create some titles for ourselves. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and create the Duchy of Oster over here. And then the Duchy of Connaught, which gets me some prestige as well. Doink. And with those, I should now be able to create the Kingdom of Ireland using my money. And boom! Just like that, I am now... A mighty king, the king of Ireland, which is hilarious. And now Ireland's over here. I mean, it's a little cursed, you gotta admit. But now that I'm a mighty king, I can get myself some extra men-at-arms regiments. We should go ahead and do that. I like horsemen. I know they're not good in hills and mountains, and there are a lot of those in England, but they're pretty good at chasing people down and countering stuff that I know I'm gonna care about. Uh, let's see, we have a handful of reasonably good guys here. Uh, actually, I should forbid my son from being allowed to be a champion. That would not be good for me. Alright, so the rest of this is all looking kind of okay. We should go ahead and get some more prestige by doing things like hosting a feast, maybe? That could be good. Oh, we haven't even... Well, I didn't even get a personal deity. Yes, let's do that. I'm pretty confident we want Tyr. Devotee of Tyr is Diplomacy and Martial. Odin is Intrigue and Piety per Dread. We can get a load of Piety. Stewardship, prowess, fertility, and control. No, tier is what we want. That's just free stats for me. Should have done that. Host of feasts? Sure, probably should have done that before he became king, because I think it's technically cheaper, but oh well. So, hi, um, you should become my vassal. No? You? How about you? No? How about no? How about no? Why do people not accept becoming my vassal? I am your rightful king. I am so, so totally Irish the heck is your problem? Whatever. It's fine. Where's my flag, my rally point? Let's move it a little bit further forward and raise up some armies, which apparently are now large enough that they're getting split into two stacks, and somehow I'm getting the achievement pop-ups. I've never understood why that happens. I have gotten those achievements before. I've had them for a while, and yet the game insists on pretending that I've never had them before. An alliance! Ah, yes, I forgot. I did send my daughter to go and get married up here in Smallland so that I'll have somebody on my northern border to defend me as well. Plus, you know, a little bit of extra strength is just generally going to be very good. Mutual spirits. Someone gains opinion. I don't care about friends. Friends are unnecessary when you are ruling the world. Disaster strikes. The wine has all gone bad. Hmm. Well, I mean... Getting extra prestige per month is pretty good. We'll go ahead and do that. Even though I would have liked to keep my money. By the way, we should spend our money on some upgrades for our top holdings. How about over here? Palisades, War Camps, Markets. Much as I enjoy getting Markets, War Camps let me get champions and make them more effective. Heck yes. We should definitely be getting War Camps pretty much wherever possible. So we will do that at the cost of a lot of prestige and some money. But don't worry. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get my money back pretty soon. Uh, my son has made a fool of himself. Higher standards for courtesy. Lots of prestige per month. Mm, yeah. I'll just embarrass my son. That can't go badly at all. And I get some more prestige for finishing up a feast. Prestige is how I continue going to war, so it's worth it to me. Group these guys up. Uh, aggressive attacker and advantage in the hills. It's pretty, pretty nice, but these are planes, so I guess at the end of the day, I'd rather put myself in charge. Mm, all right, maybe not. How about more advantage then? Fine, we'll just take a better commander. And I've been called in on a war. Hold up. Pomeranian subjugation war? You should be able to win this on your own, but I guess I accept. So now I'm involved in their nonsense wars, but if it makes him stronger and therefore more useful later, I guess I'll accept it. Now I'll put myself in charge. And some queen adventurer person has been released. I don't see why I should care. A concubine or somebody. Wait, I got a divorce? My wife divorced me? What? Well, that's 
terrible. All right, fine. Let's get a wife with really good martial skill, preferably of my culture and religious group, at least. That'd be nice. Um, you've got some pretty good devote traits. 34 years old is a little old, but I'll accept it. Ugh, I lose so much prestige, though. Whatever. Let's just, let's just, let's just get me a good wife who could become chivalrous and get me even more martial skill. There's the achievement pop-up again. Do you see what I'm talking about? It doesn't make sense. I don't really care about secrets. Extramarital affair with a ch I don't care. I lost the level of devotion. I don't care. These things don't affect me pretty much ever. My daughter's been imprisoned. Oh, good lord, what'd she do? Did she even do anything? Offer a concubine. Who? Uh, no thanks. I mean, very much appreciated, but also, no thanks. Hard rule, dread siege goes up, and siege progress against revolts goes up, and vassals have a harder time joining in on factions. Excellent. It's one of the most important things that we can probably do. I have some prisoners. Nope, you're not worth money. You're worth money, ransom. You're worth money, but I gotta wait a minute. Ransom, you're not worth much though. And then we execute people because I'm feeling a little stressed out. Also, I feel like my dread could use a little bit of a boost. Oh, you want to send your troops in to die again? Are you sure? Because I could just possibly ransom more people. Okay, go ahead. There. Do it again. There. See? Oh, good lord, peasants. No! Get out of here. All right. Just to end the war. We don't need you anymore. Bye. Thank you. Okay, the mighty king of Ireland is going to grant this off to someone else. Let's bring back our unlanded thing. And ideally, some really good, like, let's say, martial skill. Um, you would do fine. We'll go ahead and grant you this title. And then we got to go deal with peasants. There aren't very many, just a handful of peasants, but let's go deal with them. And how are things looking in Pomerania? Mmm... Should be fine. I have a hard time believing you can't subjugate Pomerania. You should be able to subjugate Pomerania. Get over there and finish them off, dang it. There, peasants are gone. Bye. All right, and rather than get involved in this war, I disband my troops and give me a chance to go ahead and bring back my troops. All right, so my levy's going to regenerate. We could start upgrading some men-at-arms regiments, and since I have a fair bit of prestige generation, I think I will increase all of these to level 2. That does cost me extra, but remember, I'm pretty good at being dreadful. So who cares? So how much can I get? In theory, a fair bit of extra levy and stuff, and then yeah, I can get a good number of extra men-at-arms. Not enough to make a huge difference, but at least something. Um, I guess we continue just subjugating the rest of Ireland. I mean, unless... hang on, how strong are you? You're weak. We could make a push up towards Scotland and just be in position to fight against Alba if we see an opportunity. I could see that being useful. And if we actually go for the conquered duchy... Ah, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough prestige anymore. Darn it. All right. Well, we've lost a lot of prestige, apparently. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep conquering people. I mean, the thing is, you gain, like, what? 75 prestige from winning the war? So it technically pays for itself. Sort of. I mean, it ends up being a wash. Whatever. Let's just get in here and kill him. Not long for this world, are you, buddy? Bye. You want to give up yet? No? Hmm. We got a prisoner. Can I ransom you? No. I'm just going to execute you then. Bye. Stupid Irish peasants. What were you thinking? Strategical impasse. Sitting around a map table discussing strategy. I can employ two strategies. Improved pillaging and improved defense. Wow. That's really good. It's great being able to employ double bonuses like that. Heck yes. All right. There's a scheme at court. Someone is trying to claim my throne. How dare you? A question of loyalty. My wife is with child. Hmm. Look into it discreetly. Let's find out what's going on. Um, this other person is... My vassal has seduced my wife. Everyone will know of your infidelity. Expose that. Love will keep you warm in the dungeons? Break it off or there will be consequences. I beg of you, let this folly end. Gain a strong hook on my wife. Maybe. Uh, or she refuses. Hmm. Consider divorcing? Hmm. 
What is more likely to work here? She's wrathful, so I imagine she's got a bit of a... I think she's got a bit of a, a temper behind her. Can I just divorce her straight out? Is that a thing now? Yeah. Divorce. Bye. I'm not having an unfaithful war. Uh, uh, war. An unfaithful wife. That ain't a thing. I'm not allowing that to be a thing. Absolutely not. No, no, and no. Ransom you. You're just basically free money. I've already seized your top holding. And that's that. Thank you. Oh, bye. Okay. And then we are going to, once again, disband all of our troops. And we are going to need to hand this off to somebody. How about... Some of all skills. You'll do fine. Take it. All right. So our council's looking bad, and we also need to get married, hopefully to a better woman this time. Sort, once again, by Marshall. I can marry her again? No. We'll marry, um... You. Ugh, but I lose so much freaking prestige! I can't keep getting married to people not my rank. Alright. It sure as heck looks to me like I just ain't getting married. Because there are no women of noble birth that I know of that are in my realm that I can marry. I don't suppose there's a neighbor, let's say Sweden. Do you have somebody that I could marry? You have a very young daughter who is a dwarf. Mm, I think I'll pass on that one, but thank you. Uh, you, you have daughters? You're betrothed, you're unmarried, blah, blah, blah. Just looking to see if there's anyone else who'd be better. You're unmarried. Could we arrange a marriage between this and me? There we go. Then I would gain prestige. Hey! Yeah. Let's betroth ourselves to this young person. There. Then I gain prestige and I don't lose it. Much better. I mean, I would have been better to have an even better wife, but at this point, I think I just have to accept the loss. All right. Thomond, you're next. Oh, I have a truce. Never mind. Desmond, you're next. Oh, gosh dang it, I don't have enough freaking prestige! What else can I do to get prestige? Call a hunt. Yes, call a hunt. See if we can get something. I thought I determined a personal deity. I didn't? Maybe I can change it. Hold up. Oh, yeah, no, I already got it. Yeah, no, I don't want to change it. All right, so, let's see. Illegal prey. Hmm. Punish some poachers? Taxes go up, but opinion goes down. Poacher training, prowess goes up. Or a chance of gaining some prestige. I don't really, I think it's more, it's more likely I lose prestige than gain it, and that's not acceptable to me at this point, so, all right. Let's go ahead and conquer another county. Might as well. And we get 150 more. All right, that'll sustain a couple more fights. Generosity for mercenaries. Uh, expunge bandits? Yeah, no, we don't want mercenaries. Gain the popular opinion and stuff. It'll be fine. All right, down there we go. Remember, I can just create myself a whole bunch more titles and stuff, and that's a way of getting some prestige as well, but it costs money to do so. Uh, we will put myself in charge. Why do I have such terrible command? My advantage is terrible. All right, I don't know what happened there, but for some reason I have terrible uh, command power. Have we finished building some stuff here yet? Nope, no warbands. Well, give it a little time. How are things looking in Pomerania? You appear to be struggling a little bit. Are you out of gas? You're totally out of gas. Pomerania has no gas either, to be fair, but you should be able to win this. Just siege down one thing, dude. Just siege down one. I, I really don't want to have to get involved in this. Subjugation war is over. Someone can no longer be subjugated. Pomerania. So the war became inconclusive. Well, how exciting is that? Okay, can I ransom you, and kill you, and enforce peace, and Desmond is mine. Thank you. Disband the troops. I apparently have quite a few troops all of a sudden. Um, let us create a title, gain 300 more prestige, and then we're going to give this off to somebody. Who has a really good martial skill? You've also got some stewardship. You'd be fine. Yeah, I'm going to give you this, and also the Jarldom of Moonster. There we go. Alright, so he becomes my vassal. So I'm not over my limit, though I can have up to six holdings, apparently. So, we still have a truce with you, huh? Okay, what about you? 
Okay, so... I could, in theory, fight against Jorvik. Because Lothian is weak as heck. But you know what I'd rather do is declare war on you. Conquer this duchy. And that puts me in striking distance to actually siege down both Lothian's top holdings quickly. Snag those away. And then hopefully not have to fight Jorvik for very long. So we'll try for that. By the way, I've noticed that for some reason the game no longer does the war music every time I declare war. I think they kind of figured out at Paradox that players were going to war so often they were just hearing the same soundtrack over and over and over again. Oh, we need a marshal. Right, right, right. Yes, that would be a thing. You. He'll do. When is that child going to be grown up? Whoop. Wait, I lost an alliance. I need it. Hold up. Wait. Oh, no. You split the realm. How dare you do this? All right, well, um, you like me a fair bit. I'm going to try to sway you and see if maybe we can get that alliance back. It was kind of nice having that on my western border and not having to worry. Like, it was really nice not having to worry about that. We'll take a little attrition, but we can just run in here and win this real quick. Crush. Bye. Easy. New perk. What do we want? Uh, I don't care about mercenary. I guess we go for a man's home. At some point, we probably don't need too much more... Uh, Marshall Perks. I mean, the ones that I'm looking at right now don't seem all that exciting. I'm married! Excellent. What are your stats? Hey, she's actually a Marshall character. What do you know? Focus on chivalry. That's worth an extra five. Heck yes. Okay, so my Marshall goes up to like 19 as a result. Good. That's more levy for me. Prisoners taken. Always good to see. Mm, let's go deal with these guys. While we siege this nonsense. And why am I not in charge? Look at that combat advantage. It's not as good as I thought it would be. It was higher than that earlier, I'm pretty sure. Might be wrong, but I am pretty sure. All right, crush that. Well, we apparently captured somebody important. That's my opportunity to get money. Hello. And you just die. And we're already at 100% regardless? Okay. I gained stress because I failed to make someone happy. Well, whatever. Take this, mine. Thank you, bye. Disband. Boom. All right. Who are we going to give this territory to? Um, let's give to some... What, what would suck at it on the council? I could use a really good steward. We have a really good steward option? Not... Not really, no. 11's the best I can get, so that's, that's all I'm getting. Fine. Prowess it is. We give it to you. Please go away, pop-ups. You're taking too long. And then we give this one away as well. So now I should have even more champions, hopefully of a little bit better skill. Let's recruit you to court. And the rest are terrible. I am going to forbid you and forbid you. And the rest, I guess, I will accept for the moment. All right, so Ireland grows. Can I kill you yet? Gosh dang, how long is this truce? I know we've got a truce. How long is it? This one? 885. Oh, we can go and do it in a couple months. Perfect. Well, we'll come back to that one. I can hold another holding. Hmm. Could have made myself a uh, another duke, I suppose. So, let's see. You are... Gosh dang it. Everyone's allied to Jorvik. This guy has put himself in an unbelievably strong position simply by having huge networks of alliances. Kind of hard to deal with, ain't it? What about Alba? You seem pretty weak. Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could do this. Um, sure. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of prestige. What about other duchy titles? Meath? We could create that. Yeah, we could create another title. I can't create that one, but I can create this one. Sure. That gets me some prestige, and then I just choose somebody at random, because that's just the way I do things out here, and then we go ahead and give you this, and you become a small mini duke person or something, and there we go. Um, I probably should transfer vassalage. Grant vassal. Yes. That way I don't have him peeved at me, because, you know, I've taken stuff that rightfully belongs to him. We can extort subjects. Let's do it. Raise a runestone. Let's do it. That's worth a lot of stuff. That's worth some money and some piety. Um, my ascension to the throne of Ireland. Yes, that's, that's how we're going to, uh, raise a runestone. So what is it going to give me? The clout runestone. Levy size 50%? Okay. 
Shellens? I can put it in my top holding and get me a clout rune stone for even more levy. Yes! Absolutely! That's powerful. So my levy amount should be going up by a fair bit. My glory is now widely known. Also, I can extort the subjects. They're all peeved at me, but who cares? All right, so I get some much needed money and yeah, everyone's angry and stuff. My maximum levy can actually go up by a fair bit. It might be time to start pushing up into the rest of Scotland and start taking all this down. If I didn't have to fight against Jorvik. So what I have to do is find a way to weaken Jorvik. Um, the options are fight Lothian so that I can fight you without having to fight your alliance network and then beat you down so that I can just attack everyone else. Or uh, go raiding. Do lots of raidy things. Oh, you are shockingly strong. Oh, wait, no, it's you. Never mind. I thought maybe it was... Never mind. Okay, never mind. Um, We could also go fight in Wales, I suppose. But I think Alba's the way to go. We've got enough prestige now. I can conquer a duchy. We could conquer Albany. That would be worth a fair bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And once again, raise up all of my armies over here. Is that it? My counselor died. Hold up. Hold on. Pause. I lost, I lost a marshal. Assign you. You'll be fine. Um, I feel like the rally points are wrong. Oh, no. They just literally all are under one army automatic. Okay. Holy warrior. Hmm. I think I'd rather just put myself in charge and let's go charge against Scotland. This will be fun. No, this will be good. I'm going to create Gaeldom. I'm going to smash right through and take over a good chunk of Alba. Make sure that they never get strong again. And then with a whole load of Scotsmen on my side, we'll be ready to beat them all down. Uh, let's take some of you and then some of you, since he's decided to be a coward, and we'll go see some things. And he's going to run all the way over here. Really? Okay, if that's what you think is best, by all means, sit down there. Another child of my dynasty. Sparring grounds are done. Great, so now we should start getting a whole bunch of new champions. Yeah, I'll need to hand off a lot more territory to more high prowess characters, if at all possible. Anything else I really want to build in my top holdings? Oh, wait, we haven't finished building that one. Really? Oh, okay. What about over here? Um, gathering halls for more levy? Yeah. Little expensive on the prestige, though. Probably not worth it. I think I kind of need to keep my prestige as much as possible, if I'm honest. Someone else has arrived at the claim on Pomerania. Is that, is that the same claim you tried using last time? Probably. Yes, yes, we lost a siege. A siege that I probably don't even care about. Okay, now we pop up over here. And we're just going to go crush this guy. No, 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 no. Just, just stay, stay where you are. Hang on, let me, see, un let me unsiege this real quick. I have another daughter. My gosh, I get lots of kiddos. You know what it is? It's all the manly testosterone. Manly testosterone as I start conquering everything. My daughter is no longer a child, but she's in prison. I don't know why she's in prison, but she is. All right, the Scots are dead. And now we just go pop up over here. Who are you? Alba got more troops somehow. Okay. Uh, let a traitor be known to all. Throw him in jail, or whether true or not, blah, blah, blah. Who are these people? Sweeney? Sweeney Todd? Let the traitor be known to all, I guess, is fine. Sure, why not? Okay, anyway, uh, back on to the fighting. So we want to go to the capital over here. And you need to go over here. Okay, these guys aren't actually deselecting the way I wanted them to. Hold up, you go up here. This got sieged by somebody else, and I don't know who it is. Oh, God! Where'd you come from? Okay, Banff. You do not have that many troops. No, how are you How are you leading that many troops? I don't know where all these guys came from. Apparently I'm fighting... No, I'm not fighting any allies. Where are these guys all coming from? All right, I don't know, but forget it. I'm just going to go ahead and stick right here and siege down your capital. Oh, my daughter got released. That's good. My brother died. That's not good. Wait, which brother? Was it a brother I don't care about? No, I was hoping it would be somebody else. I don't suppose we could find a way to, like, I don't know, murder. Ooh, surprisingly high chance of murder. Oh, maybe this could work. Yeah, let's, um, let's try to murder my brother and see if we can get rid of their really strong martial leader. 
so that someone else who's weaker takes the throne. Oh my gosh, his son's a moron. Yes. Yes, this is the solution. Murder. Murder solveth all problems. More sparring grounds are done. Excellent. That means more champions for me. Siege this capital. Doink. Get over here. Make him run away. Perfect. Who are you and why? You're just, you're a raider? Is that what's going on? Because I don't want to fight you. Took some more pre, uh, some more prisoners, which we will then ransom. Nope. Yup. Yup. And you know what? I probably need some more dread, so I'll tell you what. We just go ahead and sacrifice you. I have some stress anyway. I'm all stressed out nowadays, don't you know? And how we lost this siege, I don't know, but we should go ahead and pop back in over here. Hold up. Is he coming after me? Nope. He's trying to unsiege his capital. Well, that might work for you, but I'm hoping not. New perk, um, enduring hardships. Fort level, also I do not lose control whenever an enemy has occupied my territory. That could be helpful. Religious conversions occurred for somebody, okay. Another child of my dynasty, my god. Let's go ahead and move you up into position. We're at 63%, he's running away, good. I need one good fight. One really good fight would be amazing. I'm also really low on supply. I suppose I could just unsiege this, though I'm watching my numbers start to dwindle by a couple hundred every month, which is a bit painful. Still not 100%? Are you kidding? All right, 99% it is. Win! Boom! Did we get any prisoners? We did! A child! I ransom you. And then we take your stuff. Boom! Thank you. Disband. And now I need to give myself a chance to regenerate because I've lost a lot of levy strength. That is five additional provinces for me. Oh, we call this a heck yes moment right there. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and reassign a lot of this stuff, but let's end this video here. Uh, all is going according to plan so far. The only thing I seem to be missing is potentially, like, I don't know, some alliances and stuff. I, I would really like getting some alliances and stuff if we could probably arrange that. Or maybe my, my, what are you, my nephew? No, you're not even my relative. Hey! Somebody who's not a descendant of Ragnar Lothbrook has taken over Sweden? That doesn't seem right, but all right, we'll end this here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.